Hi guys, we are Nixon. Uh, hello, uh, audio people and outside world people. Uh, can, uh, to get us started, can you please just give us uh, a word? Starlight. Starlight. Thank Starlight. you. Light. Thanks. Starlight. So uh, in college, uh, I took a very easy class, and if I say the wrong thing, I apologize. Astronomy? <laughs> <laughs> which is the one, which is the stars? Astronomy? Yes. Uh, I took that class, and it was a very easy class. It was a cake class. The, le the only thing we had to do for the entire class for a grade was a project at the end. And it was to view uh, a meteor shower that was happening, and to write down what you see, like what color um, meteors, meteor, meteors you see, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, and I didn't do it, but I just wrote down like, that I saw like one minute red with a tail going north, blah, blah, blah. Got an A for the class. It was very, very easy. Uh, it shouldn't be that easy to get through college. Uh, Professor Eva? Yeah. Um, I just saw that you, you gave me a D on my report. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I thought that I hit exactly what you were asking for. I talked about how myself as a Gemini, I have <laughs> two split personalities because I'm like a twin. Yeah. Um, I just don't know what you had an issue with. That you didn't go deeper. <laughs> That's the issue. Like, you're a Gemini, you have two twins. Boom, and you stop there. Yeah. Okay, this is advanced math. Okay? <laughs> it's advanced. So you divide it one into two. So where did those two go? Where do they go to? Where do they go? Yeah. I dig deeper <laughs> than that. You do need to dig deeper. Like, an example, Jamal here. Can I just a get a uh, math that's pronounced right? Math? Okay, you've gone down to a D now. Because <laughs> when you turn in that essay empty, I say, he knows what he's doing. Your he essay knows. was empty? It was empty. Oh. Why? Right? Because life is empty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean, but you're going down to a D because you start talking. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so sorry. So are you a Sagittarius? What does that mean? Go for it. It won't affect my Maybe, grade. maybe it will. I'm a Capricorn. Mm. Okay, I get that. <laughs> I get why his paper is blank. Exactly. Do you want to go a little deeper now, Jim? Um, I still haven't come up with anything. Maybe Not ask either. someone else about themselves. I'm in the wrong class. You're in the wrong class, right? Yeah, it is. Then you're in the right class. No, I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong class. <laughs> why do you think that? Because I didn't get a grade, though I did turn in like a lengthy essay on like Southern Gothic literature, oh. and I didn't get a grade back on it, so I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong class. That one I held on to. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no one's ever taken me there with math, right? No one's taken me to Gothic structures. And the, what was it? What century were you talking about? Which, hmm? one, which century was it? The 18th. 18th century. No one's taken me there. Are you in the right class? <laughs> <laughs> You're back down to an F. Okay. I was going to let you go. But let's learn something here, folks. I'm going to go deep, and I don't want you to disrespect me. So if you those two things, then you can get an A. We got to the library later that day. All right, guys, look. She assigned it's a group project. We're all doing terrible in this class. Uh, I don't, I'm doing all right. I got a D. That's passing. No, your not. expectations are so low. What? I just want to do the bare minimum to get by, guys. I think we can do better than that, right? Yeah, we can probably get an A in the class. I think really all she's looking for is like compliments. <laughs> you guys are shooting sky high right now. Just live on the earth. Stop trying to be interstellar. This is good. I'm writing this yeah, down. That. Show that. Love this shit. Don't yeah. write this stuff down. I do. Even better, I won't yeah. write it down. Oh. It'll be implied. No, that's my like thing, though. Paper. Don't copy me. She thinks that I did all the work, then I won't get a good grade on it. We're a team. It's a group project. Don't write that down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. All right, come back to the classroom. All right, fellas. You get a second chance. We're turning in nothing. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> but I want you to know Jamal didn't do all the work. All right. <laughs> the three of us talked about it together. Exactly. All right. Just know there's no such thing as advanced math. Okay? Mm. And I'm not a real professor. Are you pronouncing it right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we get another word for this? Dragon. 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 
so I went to Disney World uh, one time in my life with my mom and my sister, and they don't ride roller coasters. Um, but I had just gotten to the phase of riding roller coasters. I used to be terrified of them, and then I went on the Mind Racer at Six Flags, <laughs> and it like blew my mind. And so now I was like all about roller coasters. What it does, the Mind Racer. How old were you? I was ooh, 13, 14. And so uh, we went to Disney World, and there's a thing called, I think it's called Twin Dragon or something like that, but to get into it, you have to walk through this whole castle thing, right? And it's, there was no one there in line, and I was walking by myself as they were coming with me. As I'm walking through, I'm realizing, like, it's scary in there. <laughs> like, it's dark. There's no one in there. You're hearing the creepy sounds get piped in. It's not until I got, like, right up to the ride that people were finally in line. I was like, no one's in line for this ride. So we finally got on the ride. I got on the ride, and then I went up. We went, went around the ride, got off. They asked me there if I wanted to get right back on the ride because <laughs> there was barely anyone in line. So I was like, sure. <laughs> It's not like they had to wait an hour for me to get on the ride, and just I did it again. Then I came out, and they're like, "How was the ride?" I was like, "Yeah, it was all right." Was it a bad ride? I don't, I don't know. I just wasn't popular at that time that I went. Well, there was no correlate. Yeah, it's called what's it called? I think Twin Dragons. And there's no Disney so correlation with this. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but there's two. There's two. The roller coasters go up two at a side. Like, the, there's two different roller coasters, and they like intertwine and stuff, and and go around each other and go around. So I guess that's what's called Twin Dragons, but I don't know what it has to do with. With Disney. <laughs> with Disney, I don't know specifically. Double Dragon is a thing, but it's not a that's Disney. That's not Disney, yeah, that's not, that's, that's why it's popular. All right, kids, uh, are you guys looking to get on to the, uh, the Battletoads ride? Here yeah. 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 Great, you guys just have to go through that door there into the castle, and that'll lead you to the ride. Great. Right. What, okay, why does that door keep opening and closing? Like, is, is that a test? Is that part of the ride as well? Or? Yeah, that's actually a good point. You want to make it through as the door opens, because if it closes on you, it yeah. will not reopen, it and you will. will be stuck. Wow. So we'll have to force oh, push you out. So it's just like part of the <coughs> ride experience. Yeah. It's like the first level of Battletoads. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just yeah, like the first level, level of Battletoads. Battletoads. Wait, so if I know this ride, then I know Battletoads. Yeah. That means that the second part of the ride, then, is us fighting some sort of bad guy, right? Right? That's right. It's a real big buffalo. What? Yeah. It's a buffalo. big, big yeah. buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The bad guy from Battletoads. Yeah. Buffalo, buffalo Bell. Bell. Yeah. The second level Bell. of Battletoads. Yeah. 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 So that means the third level. Oh, don't say that. I've never gotten that far. Oh, oh, man. What? You guys you never got to the third level. Let me just ask you this question. You guys all have jet ski licenses, right? <laughs> what? Like, you guys have <laughs> Great, well you guys can all hop in the back with Eva here. Yeah. Uh, Cause cool. you will be riding a jet ski um, and you will have to avoid uh, mines in the ocean. Is that exactly. the third level? That is the third level. You don't have to tell me. I was at the third level. I've beaten the game before. Exactly. But you don't have your license. I did that. Which allowed me to go to the fourth level. <gasps> which is what? You get the uh, jet pack. <laughs> That's right. You get a jet pack and you fly up into the sky. Wait, why is no one else in line for this ride? <laughs> Amazing it's just no us here. The park is packed full of people. It's only five hours to get a churro. People complain. <laughs> I wanted it real bad, so I yeah, stuck it out. This <laughs> is the last yeah. thing I'm going to do all day. We're out of time. Better advice you got to fast pass that churro line. Oh, it was like five uh, bucks yeah. more. I wasn't willing oh, yeah. to do I it. I didn't just spend the five bucks. We could have been here yeah. earlier. No, it was I did. I got my churro. I'm sorry I didn't give you all one. But so to answer your question, <laughs> the reason people don't like this Battletoads ride is yeah. because it's not Disney affiliated and people don't know why it's here. Uh, what? Yeah. Sticklers. I yeah. hate them. Oh, but they're toes throughout Disney. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. There are so many frogs involved in Disney. Yeah, let's name them all. Okay. There's the oh, princess and the frog. <laughs> princess and the frog. Boom. Boom. First black princess, they thank you. I don't know and why that had to come up. It had to come up because it has to be said. Okay. But you all didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know. It needed, needed to be said. I knew it, but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, you brought more attention to it. It's, all <laughs> like, it's the first black one. And I was like, I don't know why she put the emphasis on the L in black either. Like, that was... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We're going to get into this today? Well, I mean, no one else is in line, so... <laughs> Eva, if you want to go to a black much. showdown, we can. <laughs> black showdown, I would have that black showdown. We didn't even know about the princess and the frog. Okay? <laughs> I think, I think my churro was sponsored by uh, by Cinderella. 
I think it was supposed to be like a broomstick. I think that's why that makes sense. Oh, that's sense. the connection? Yeah. yeah. That is the connection. Yeah. Yeah. When you eat it, and it would spill lots of stuff, and then it was like, oh, clean it up with the churro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those are really messy. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. So cinnamon and salt and sugar everywhere. Yeah. Also salt. It's a salty, sugary thing. <laughs> nice segue away from that conversation. Yeah. Sure, I just wanted to, yeah. You wanted to get it past that. Yeah. Sure, yeah. As but the, right. yeah. There's another one with frog. Then she kissed the frog and like Snow White. Boom. boom. Okay. Is that correct? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to it's um, not, That's not the first. No, first, first white princess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being <laughs> 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 that. One of those princesses were white. Yeah. No. No. Okay. No. That needed to be said. Even. <laughs> <laughs> you lost the black off. Then you lost it. I didn't lose the black. Off. <laughs> you lost the black. Hey, you know what? There's another one where she kisses a toad and it turns into a prince. Or is that the princess and the frog? <laughs> <laughs> The frog. Uh, I could be wrong. I think, well, I think that might be Hershey's part here. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news, guys. Oh, no, don't tell us. Bad news. The ride's been shut down. No. Uh, apparently, Buffalo Bill went riot. <laughs> yeah, he got on the train. Yeah, he got on one of the jet skis. Yeah, yeah. Flew into the riot itself. You know, this is all part of going to the riot. It's not the riot itself. You're just getting it's to the ride. You know, this is all part of going to the riot. It's not the riot itself. You're just getting to the ride. Yeah, oh, into the ride, yeah, which is really just a um, a small roundabout around like a world of just like a bunch of vegetation. But all the pieces go together to make one awesome ride, like math. I don't know if you pronounce it. <laughs> math. <laughs> math. <laughs> math. 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 Yeah, it's He's the door. Right, door it? plus the bill plus the yeah. jet skis plus the uh, plus the j jet pack plus the circle. Mm -hmm. One plus one plus one plus one is four, four. and that's math. <laughs> <laughs> Eva, does that sound right to you? It sounds perfectly fine to me. <laughs> I got another ride for you. <laughs> uh, can we get another suggestion? Tamper. Tamper? Thank you. Uh, so I work at Ross Clothing, my second job, and uh, every holiday season, uh, <laughs> as I'm going around picking up clothes, there will inevitably be somewhere where there's a pocket and a jacket that's just full of the anti-tamper devices <laughs> that have been tampered with. <laughs> Someone came in and took them all off and then stuffed them into a jacket or something. And then when we find it, like the only thing we're supposed to do is like bring the coat and the stuff to like someone who's doing SPS recovery. And then like I never see that jacket again. <laughs> it's like they're ushered off like someone who like ran on stage during a presidential election or something. <laughs> like you never see that jacket again. And they're like, oh, we'll take care of this. And they like usher it back. But I, I've never caught someone doing it. I've only ever seen the aftermath of like a bunch of these devices that are supposed to be. You can't take them off. You can buy the thing, take them off like on the internet. Hmm. You know that. Hmm. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. Like you can like everything is that on the internet. All right. Well. I've never seen someone do it in person. I've only seen the aftermath of these crafty criminals coming to Ross and <laughs> stealing discount clothing. <laughs> hey guys, uh, it's the holiday season, so we just want to make sure uh, here at uh, Marshall's, <laughs> just want to make sure people coming in here that, you know, wherever they're buying, American currency. All right. Okay, okay. Is this because um, the young man that came in and just paid for that jacket and all yen? Yeah. And we just accepted it? And yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's currency, it's, right? It was currency. It's a it currency. Change. Yeah. It's a currency. Yeah. And I know at discount stores, we do things a little bit different than mm -hmm. the rest of the country, but yeah. you need to pay an American currency, all right? Okay, you should have said that from the beginning. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's very clear, and that's why uh, the other day, the other day, I, someone came in and they wanted um, a pair of slacks, mm -hmm. and they gave me a shirt for it, and it was an even one in one trade. And I really <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did that all the time. We do accept the barter system, but one in one slacks for a shirt—that is not one in one. Whoa. If they brought in pants to trade with the slacks, that would have been acceptable. I beg to differ. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's still an article of clothing. Yeah. Yeah. It's one to one. One that's, to one. That's not what the one to one means. We okay. Nice. You can have a better training. I mean, this yeah. is what you want us to do at Marshalls. I'm not going to go back to Ross, because they tell me what I need Don't to do. Don't bring up Ross. Yeah, I used to, I used to work at Ross also. They tell me to do all the time. Can we stop talking about Ross? <laughs> My wife works at Ross. <laughs> so what's, why is that a big deal? Yeah, what, she makes more than me. <laughs> 
That burns. <laughs> <laughs> I have another example of something that was exchanged. I want to see if it's okay or not. Go ahead. Okay, so someone came in and got a toaster and they gave me a pumpkin for it. Because <laughs> it seemed to me like they're kind of the same shape, right? So like the value, I guess, is right. And that pumpkin is still under my cash register. And it's real old. <laughs> so I didn't know what, like, if we should take it to, like, a bank or something. Get it to bank. I just didn't know. I don't know the next steps. Again, this is a breakdown in training, really. We cut to, yeah. we cut to the bank. What, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I, would like, I would like $30, please. $30 for, for this. For this pumpkin? Yeah. That's clearly been just rotting somewhere. Okay, if it wasn't rotting, um, what would be the cash value? Sir, sir, <laughs> what'd you say? What would be the cash value? If it wasn't rotting? Yeah. Well, it depends. If you're doing a one-for-one one exchange, <laughs> you're just asking for pumpkins for money. Yeah. You could have brought in a squash. You could have brought in a yam. No, we would have given you cash. Okay, I've got a pocket of marbles. What's cash value in that? I'm going to have to talk to my manager. About okay, this. great. Yeah, cut to the here. back room of the uh, bank. Hey, guys, so there's been a bit of a breakdown uh, in what's going on out there. We're supposed to be handing out money to people who have money in their bank account. <laughs> <laughs> they, have they have to have money. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, sorry, right. manager. Uh, just, I just... I like yams, and I, there's a value to it. So well, when someone brings in yams, we give them twenty dollars. That's that's okay. I understand. <laughs> Ethan is always eating yams. I, I get it. And look, this at TD Bank, this is what we do. It's just cash for cash. I'm sorry if I didn't explain that earlier. I know some of you worked at Bank before this. I was going to say, at Bank of America, that's not how we did it. Yeah. Okay, can we just have to talk about Bank of America, please? Can you not ever talk about this ever again? Just never bring it up ever, okay? Oh my God. Is this because your ex wife? Yeah, she, she's the gender there. And she's the gender? <laughs> yeah. And she makes more money than I do. Wow. Oh, that seems to bother you. Yeah, the math is all messed up. <laughs> the math, what is all messed up? The math. <laughs> Are you an Aquarius? No. <laughs> I am an Aquarius, yes. Well, that's good. I don't know why we're laughing at that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, think, um, I think you should you should be proud of your wife making more than you as a janitor. Ex-wife, though, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can still be proud of her. Yeah, you can still be proud. Yeah. That shows you're a, you're a big man. Well, the issue is I still have to pay her alimony because I was making more at the time and then she got that job. Mm. But it stayed. How many marbles are you out Yeah. Okay, we're not doing the marble exchange. No, it's just cash. Okay, how many yams? Yeah. How many yams? <laughs> what does the yam cost? Like 75 cents? No. <laughs> uh, all the yams, which are the yams I only accept, uh, they're $20 per pound. <laughs> yeah. And I'm taking yeah. pumpkins for 100 yen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In fact, here, try one. I fried up a yam right here. It's like a I'll, chip. I'll give it a shot. Oh, it, there's a customer coming in. They can wait. Try the yam. Well, you know, it's actually like a giant buffalo, I think. Should we? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and should we? Uh, look, you just. Oh, shit. That buffalo's on a jet ski. <laughs> just just a license shot. for it. <laughs> Oh, well, let me go ask. Yeah, go ask him. Please, I'm gonna eat this. When I come back, I want to eat. Um, it's pretty good. Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Buffalo, I don't, sorry. Buffalo oh, Bill! Okay, Mr. <laughs> Buffalo. Yeah. Hey, are you licensed to uh, own the jet ski? Of course I am. I got my certificate right here. Okay, excellent. Just hold a second. Bye. Right. Yeah, he's good to go, guys. Oh! <laughs> uh, How's that jam? How's that jam? It's actually pretty good. It's like a uh, yeah. french fry, but like a little sweeter. Exactly. And it's got some like powdered sugar on it that might fall on the ground. I'll <laughs> have to pick it up, you know, I can sweep it up with a yam, right? Exactly. But we and cut to uh, Disney World. We're at the uh, the churro station, um, and it's Brian and his ex-wife. Oh, well, it was nice of you to take me to Disney World. Well, you know, it's the uh, least I could do. Uh, celebrate your new job and everything. Yeah, I'm a janitor at Bank of America. Yeah, doing very well. <laughs> I have a six-figure salary. <laughs> Either one of you two interested in our express pass? Oh, Ooh, let's fast pass. How much? Well, it's probably not worth it. I mean, it's just a line for shows. How long could it be? How long could it be? Yeah. Well, you could be here all day. Well, what does the, the line? line? Yeah. What does it look like to get into the churro? What is it like to look like to get into? The churro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I said it wrong. <laughs> what I meant was, what does it look like to get into the churro line? It's it's very long right. You can't see it now because we're at the beginning of the ride, but if you walk in, you'll see there's a long line inside. But we can express pass you in. How much more is it? Oh, it's just five bucks. 
Oh, baby, I don't move. He's so cheap. He's so cheap. He works at TD Bank. I don't say the money back. He's, he's a bank manager there. Toad deposit bank. Say no more. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to go ahead and get in line. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, 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 it'll go by fast, and then we'll get to ride all those rides. Like the Battletoads ride that's up back there in the corner. It looks great, and there's no one in line for it. So Cut to the back of the uh, Chirola shop. Uh, Jamal? Yeah? I need you to work a little harder. Ugh. You're not selling those fast pass. Ugh. Okay? They're only five dollars. You sound like my math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> she was a great woman, wasn't she? <laughs> but like me, I'm a great woman as a manager of Churro Shop. And this, <laughs> thank, you, thank you for that compliment. Okay. So what are you going to do? What's your plan of action to, to sell more Fast Pass? Just keep asking you if they want the Fast Pass, and when they say no, walk away. I think they need to get more personal. Get more personal? Get more personal. I'm a Capricorn. I can't be doing that. <laughs> you're going to do it, you're going to lose your job. Well, then fire me. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Uh, there's a gentleman outside who's very persistent about getting a churro. He looks like might be like a buffalo. It's really big. He has a, oh, he has a, he has a Have license for churro eating. <laughs> Jamal, you want to go take care of that customer? So fast, fast. Don't worry, sir. We'll take care of that. Hey, okay, good. I was hey, guy. Uh, I'm so hungry. Okay, relax. Me broom churro. <laughs> right? It's like a broom, right? <laughs> Just the cinnamon thing. <laughs> oh, forget it. You don't know want it? it? It sounds like this is in no way connected to the Disney World, so I am not interested in this. <laughs> Connected to the Disney World, and then I'll be interested. It's a uh, okay. One of the um, people in Snow White, the dwarfs, was Latino. That's right. <laughs> 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 